Hello guys, welcome to the channel. I have a news for you. So uh, Android 10 for the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 is released. So uh, there's a bad news or maybe it's a good news for some of the people. So actually the released Android 10 is not really one UI. It's a stock Android. So if you're watching this video, we are going to install stock Android 10 on Samsung Galaxy Tab T510, which is the non um, the LTE version of the tablet. So uh, let's begin the installation. So uh, I've just seen this right now. This is the Nexus stock and that is the Lineage OS 17. So what is Lineage OS 17? Lineage OS 17 is a custom ROM. So what's a custom ROM? Yeah, it's not your software that you actually get on your device. So it's Android 10. The Lineage OS 17.1 is Android 10. So that is what we are going to install on our Galaxy Tab 8 10.1 2019. So let's click on that. Okay, it's loading up. So uh, from here, the download section we have the .tar.md file. File. So I prefer the tar board. That's the .md file file, which I could install using Odin. Odin is the Samsung flashing. You know, the firmware flashing software for Samsung. So uh, that's a OneDrive link, and uh, yeah, the download should start right now. And this. Yep, the download is right over there. So uh, it's downloading. So actually, I'm not allowing Chrome to download this. I prefer downloading via IDM. That's the Internet Download Manager, and it's actually very much fast in downloads. So uh, let me open that up and go over here, copy that link, and transform. Oh, I need to transfer to IDM. So okay, start download and I'll tap on yes okay so that file is right now I'll just exit from the ROM and it's downloading so uh, right now I will just you know post this recording of this video and come back at a later time where it is going to finish so uh, where's the recorder open the recorder so post it and I'm back yep the download is completing Here we are. I'm not going to open it, I'm just going to open that folder over there. So, uh, here, right here. So, downloads. So, let that be there. So, right now, I'm going to open Odin. You know, Odin, if you have flashed any uh, softwares before, it is the uh, Samsung Flame firmware flashing tool. So, uh, I'll just open this up. So, actually, I have provided all these files in the description. It's an all-in-one zip file, so it's just one link. You have to download that one link and extract it to your desktop. So, yep, I'll just open this up. It is please wait. So, uh, by that time, we can just do one other thing. So, uh, right now, we're going to enable the developer, I mean, the developer's option, and then we are going to uh, enable the bootloader undocking. So, our uh, settings. Now to enable the developer options, you need to go to Ed about tablet and then from there you need to go to software information and from there you need to tap on build number 7 times and you need to enter your password or pattern that you have currently set up in your device. So that's mine and uh, I'll just go to developer options right now. It's actually in settings, you need to open the settings and uh, where am I? Yep, settings then yeah you know, at the end you would see the developer options so we are over there so inside this we need to enable that oem unlocking allow the bootloader to be unlocked you need to ensure that it's on so uh it says please wait and it should finish right now yep it says leaves here so i'm just going to connect this type c cable right over here so um i just power off this tablet first powering off Okay, so here we are powering off the tablet. So uh, after it powers off, you need to press the volume up and down at once and then connect this type C cable. So right now you would see this. Let me show you. Yep, volume up long press to device unlock mode. So I'll just do that 
I'm long pressing that right now. It should show me something within some few seconds. Okay. Okay, and the bootloader. So I'll just volume up to unlock the bootloader. Volume up. And it should go over right now. Yep. And we just go back again right over there. And we will volume up to go over here. So that's the download mode. And it should say added. No, it's not showing. So we'll just need to wait for some time. Okay, we'll just need to connect that first. Okay. Actually, yep, it says added. So we are here. So we need to hit on the start when we are here right now. Okay, we are here is added so we'll just you know start the download yes it's just going on right now it would take about you know 10 to 15 minutes for this to flash completely i would think and uh, so yeah i will leave this right over here and i will not flash forward this video because i get comments that my videos are fake like this flashing roms are fake and uh, so uh, just to prove those wrong that these are stuff that's, that can happen so I'm just leaving this right over here
so guys it just says the reset and then pass so uh, I'll just show you just then there's this step on its own on its own and uh, during the first move, I couldn't boot up so uh, if you couldn't boot up you need to do something that uh, I would just do right now so okay let me wait for some time okay I couldn't boot up so I'll just go over here I'll press the volume down and the power button simultaneously to reboot the device okay should turn off the screen right now it'll just keep pressing the volume up down and power up and okay it turned off so I'll just keep the volume down hold the volume up and the power button and uh, yep, you will put it in the TW after recovery right now so here we are so what we need to do is okay we need to go to advanced wipe then uh, select this data partition and uh, hit on repair or change file system so we'll just change the file system to something else like fat and then go back and change it to ext4 and that should work and go back again go back go back go back no we'll just wipe the partition okay now we'll just reboot this one. and this time it should boot up okay it's booting up I haven't seen the logo yet I think it would work. It's working now. Okay. Done. So we just put it up. That's it guys. So we are just going to I'm just oh no. The touch isn't working. So uh I couldn't get the touch working in the first time. So uh, let me show you how it actually works. Okay. So uh, actually, let me show you. Let the screen go to time. Okay. Okay. It's not really working. Actually, guys, I'm doing this for the first time, so uh, we need kind of good patience. Okay, it's turning off the screen right now, and my touch isn't working. And it turned off right now, and uh, when I turn it back on, it did work. The touch did work, so that's it. Let's just hit on start, and let me set this up. okay next 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 and skip and let's start that okay go back here we are this is the guys so i just change that wallpaper we just got it okay not from here let's just go back and we'll select the on device or papers oh no my photos no. we'll just select the one device or we'll just go back and now the one device or papers and select that I like that wallpaper especially so that looks good so here we are let's go to the settings now so that's it guys if you want a video the review of this we need to 17.1 rom you can comment it down below you're free to comment you're free to like you're free to dislike and let me show you for some time the storage is actually 18% 
and it's like 5.84 GB used of 32 GB that's present inside the tab so uh, that's like server that's like all 6 GB and let me clear that right now and it overall looks good, looks good. and let's turn that off and actually I tried installing open the apps and it actually didn't work so if you want an update you just need to be sure that you are subscribed to this app subscribe to this channel and uh, goodbye guys have a nice day bye